I do appreciate this text as it is rather helpful, but I can't help feel that if we enter this area facing the actual corridor itself, it would have been a little bit more helpful. Now we need to enter through this doorway right here, but as you can see here, we are rather out in the open. I mean, we are out in the open standing right here, so I'm not sure what difference it would make crossing through to this corridor. Anyway, this is another area where there is plenty of prompts for various descriptions, but not a lot of spoken dialogue. I would highly recommend playing this game for yourself so you can experience it all in more detail. But unfortunately, I don't think it's available anywhere digitally. But hopefully it will be one day. As you can see here, this entrance has lots of different options that we can choose from. I'm not sure how we could slide under it. And as I said before, we cannot just stroll up to this door and open it. Hold on. I thought that we didn't want to expose ourselves, but this description says we walk up to the door. Okay, so we're not getting in that way. Maybe we can climb this wall. There we go. We will be visible climbing up the wall, but for some reason we are able to walk up to this door. Right, so we need to disguise ourselves somehow. Let's take this top first. Yeah, this a bit... I mean, we're worried about snatching the tarp off the scaffolding, but we're perfectly fine walking across this corridor. Adventure game logic, everyone. We have this scaffolding here, and... We have this tarp as well. Although, why the guard doesn't notice this massive tarp raising into the sky, I have no idea. Right, let's get out of here. We can't move around this screen. This is our only view. Your tugging is wussy and ineffectual. I've heard that before.
Right, so yes, it's very black right now, but thankfully we have these goggles. We are in a maze right now, and I'm pretty certain that you could map it out if you really wanted to. But there is one easy way to work out where we're going. Ralph is a dog. We have a dog whistle, so let's give it a blow. And as you can see here, this tells us which direction we need to, we need to actually go to reach Ralph. So we need to go ahead. It's just the same text on the bottom. You just need to keep an eye on the uh, last word. And yes, there is a, another element to this. As you can see here, we are, well, the noise of the whistle is being drowned out by this fan. So every now and again, we just need to go ahead and turn them off. As easy as that. Right, onwards. Well, I guess I didn't actually have to use the whistle here because there is only one direction, but it's always good to show off what to do in this circumstance. Ahead and ahead. Oh, we have a vent. Okay. We just did look into the vent, but I'm guessing this is not the correct place. So let's carry on. Sometimes you actually get a description of a room with things actually in it, but we've had, we've had two misses so far. Oh, I wonder if it's this one or the previous one. Mines. I'll shut them both off just in case. Oh, okay. Three misses. Am I missing something here? Let's go back here. Okay. 
Ah, okay. I apologise. We need to, be, need to be standing right on top of it. Ralph von Valval. Well, I assume that's the pronunciation, if Ralph is a von. There is no question about this. We need to rescue what Ralph. I'm not sure how we can pet him from here, but we can try. Oh, wow. Okay. We were able to strike Ralph and... No one else noticed. Who is Malian? Now, I assume that this triggered some dialogue, but I'm wondering if it's kind of random. I don't think so. What? Because he chose a German Shepherd? Dabkov. Okay, we're not going to get much more out of this, so if I try to remove the grill, we will get a clue, hopefully. He didn't perform the surgery. He had another student perform the surgery. I told you that. Okay, I think the, the spoken dialogue is fairly random. Ah, this is the clue that we need. So it says here that, that a brisk breeze is helping to draw away the thick, unpleasant air from the stuffy little room. So we need to remove that breeze. And we briefly saw it before we looked for this vent. Let's head back out and, oh yes.
There we go. That sounds rather pleasant. Hi, Ralph. I knew it wasn't Joe. What? You can tell by the way I whistle? They're distinctive. You'd be surprised. Maybe not. It's an instrument. Kinda. Calm down, but be quiet. Are they right outside? I don't think so. But people keep walking by, and thank you for coming. Joe's outside. I know. Right, we need to get down here. And... I'm not sure why we can't just jump onto the desk, but... To get down, we need to use the grappling hook. Oh. Oh, there we go. Whoops. This is very impressive, Jake. You know, I heard somebody here say that the CIA is looking for a few good assassins. In high school, I was voted least likely to be an action hero. So have you noticed any prospective exits? I'm game for the ducts. Well, there's a problem with that. It lets out above the main door, and that's a long way to the ground. How are you with suction cups? I had one a long time ago. It passed right through my system. Okay, we'll find another way. Well, we can always try the door. Boy, am I glad to see you. What did you do, Ralph? I guess I shouldn't have gone on Nightline. I told you not to go on Nightline. I told you people would see you. So you told me, I admit it. I should have gone on the new Bill Cosby show instead. Be glad that you did not. At first, they wanted me to sign a release giving them ownership of me. Then I pointed out to them that if they had me sign it, it would be an acknowledgement of my ability to think and to reason for myself. And thus they couldn't own you. Right. So, what happened? I think they've decided they don't need my permission. What is that sound? Is that meant to be Ralph panting?
That does not suit you, Jake. Oh, well, it must fit something. Okay, Gotti Fish Chagken Item Item Nishian Mbopakin Gmon. So I'm guessing they're, rep they're meant to represent actual words. Like the third one down, that definitely looks like item. There was also a book on phonetics that Jake decided that he did not want. So, fish. G-H could be a f. But otty? Shh, shh, shh. Okay, um, we will hopefully work this out as we go along. Oh. Hi there. Ralph, how come dogs go crazy when they see themselves in a mirror or trash can or something? They wouldn't if their masters would brush their fur once in a while. There isn't much more that we can do in here. I'm not sure if there is a clue for this. Okay. Well, to escape from here, we need to go back to the basics, and that is by using a card on the old lock trick. Jigger the lock, there we go. Thank you. 